Hello my dudes, Rob from Open Source EV here again in another video, this time talking about this product, the Skosh OBD2 to USB Type-A converter. So, a couple things going on here. First and foremost is this. Uh, this plugs into the onboard OBD2 port on your Rivian R1T or R1S. So this goes on to the male end, female uh, port here, and on the other side is a pass-through, so you can leave it permanently installed, and if somebody needs to plug in to the OBD2 port, they can just plug in and go. In line is a fuse to ensure that uh, you don't overdraw the port. And finally, on the business end of it is a USB Type-A quick charge 3.0 port that puts out 18 watts of power and actually lights up in red. So many of the new Rivian R1T and R1S uh, vehicles actually don't come with a 12 volt outlet underneath the dash anymore. Uh, there is no outlet unless you really want to pull things apart and then tap into things. Uh, this product actually solves that because plug it in, position this where you want and basically plug in and go. It also, because of the location of the OBD2 port, which is in the driver footwell, uh, you can actually run, you plug this in and run this and basically position this underneath the steering wheel and it will provide a really convenient uh, USB type A port to plug in things like a, uh, a phone mount, a charging phone mount on your dash. Uh, so let's take a look at the installation of this really quick and then we'll come back and uh, summarize at the end. The first step in the process is to remove this panel on the driver's side of the dash using a trim tool as shown here. Notice that it's secured in place by three retaining clips. Once that's done, you can pop these two clips open on the bottom of the dash. This is all that you need to detach. Next step is positioning the SCO shoot adapter in place. Once that done, you can thread the end of it through the gap between the bottom of the dash and the rocker panel on the left. Notice that once you do so, the adapter can only be plugged in one way and it clears the dead pedal by quite a bit. We suggest securing the remainder of the cabling using cable ties or similar. Once that is complete, you can then go ahead and position it where you want. I have it tucked in here as my steering wheel is all the way up, however you may want to tuck it behind if you have your steering uh, wheel down some. Once it's in place, you can go ahead and snap the bottom of the dash back in place and the side of it back in place. You also want to check and make sure that it fits correctly with the weather stripping. Notice this is the completed picture. As you can see, the installation of it is pretty straightforward and the locationing uh, is really, really convenient for the USB port. Uh, the product is available on Open Source EV and a variety of different resellers at under $30. Uh, it is designed and engineered by Skosh, which is a reputable company, uh, in California in the United States. Again, this is Rob from Open Source EV. Uh, thank you so much for taking a look at this video, and I can't wait to talk to you again in the next one.